Edit Service stands for Eating Disorder Intensive InReach Team. We launched the service in October 2023. It's a pilot. Our aim is to capture and improve the lives of our young people aged 13 to 18 within the West Midlands that are suffering with eating difficulties. We are, we, our aim is to go out to the acute hospitals to assess young people that have probably been admitted uh, with physical, that have been physically compromised. One of the big aims is to prevent the use of, use of the nasogastric tube and a feeding for our young people. The edit team will gatekeep any sort of uh, referrals that do come in and liaise with the community teams to see if we needed more in information or how actually a hospital admission can be prevented. One of our aims from the edit service as well is to go out to all acute hospitals within the West Midlands when young people are admitted there that are becoming physically compromised due to sort of poor diet and fluid intake. So we go, we'll go out and we'll do some teaching with the nurses and, and help with care planning the patient care whilst they're in hospital. So our main aim is to prevent nasogastric feeding in our acute hospitals. We know that these measures can be put can be put in place quite quickly. So we are now sort of working really closely with the acute hospitals, with the nurses and the doctors there, and also the community teams that are involved with that patient in that area, in in how we either remove the NG tube really safely, or we put other measures in to prevent it completely. So part of the role is quite an advisory and consultation role um, that can either be done face to face or over Teams or, or email. Um, myself and the other consultant will go out to acute hospitals or to community settings to assess young people face to face and meet with their families and really find out in great detail what this young person really needs and what we can do to support this young person and the family to prevent hospital admission. So once we all formulate that, we'll liaise with the community teams and offer advice on how, um, what else could be put around the family and the young person to prevent them coming into hospital. Obviously we're doing a lot of data collection. What, we, what has been really noticed is actually the amount of admissions that we have prevented by having the edit service in place um, and actually the young people getting the right care at the right time um, and actually remaining with family. Even if it meant they've had to spend a short period of time on an acute ward, um, we've gone round and done the care planning, but they've, they've, it's prevented a tier four admission to, a, a, to an specialist eating disorder unit. Going forward with the edit service, we want to reduce significant amounts of admissions now to tier four specialist eating disorder units. We think working intensely with the community teams and seeing you know, what other support they can be offering our young people, that actually we, we think together we can actually prevent lots more admissions and actually hoping that the young people that go into hospital, it's the right decision that, for that young person. We are aiming to do more sort of teaching across the acute hospitals, also with our tier four inpatients. This isn't just eating disorder units, this is with our general adolescent units and our psychiatric intense care units as well to see, to see what other support we can offer. We don't just work with young people with anorexia nervosa, we work, work with young people that may have autism, ARFID, emotional dysregulation. So we're actually we're devising more of a different type of care plan for that young person that normally before would have been working down an anorexic nervosa pathway. So we are able to really sort of think out of the box and find the right best care for our young people. And we've sort of incorporated a lot of behaviour therapy as well. So it really sort of complements their their treatment pathway. We also, when we join in the formulations, we're able to identify what pathway our young person will be on, so they are getting the right treatment for the illness they're experiencing. Another part of the edit service is to ensure that all our young people that require hospital admission to a tier four specialist eating disorder unit, that they get that inpatient setting within the West Midlands, so families and young people don't have to travel outside, um, outside of the West Midlands. So that's a real drive for us.